The Kamla house stood at the end of the narrow, windy lane, shrouded in darkness even on the brightest of days. Whispers floated through the village about the malevolent history of the abandoned mansion, a place avoided by everyone except the bravest or the most foolish. No one knew what horrors awaited behind its rotting wooden doors, nor did they wish to find out. Until one fateful night, when curiosity overcame Juddin and Suman, two college students seeking an adrenaline rush. Adventurous by nature, they had always laughed off ghost stories and horror movies. That was until they heard about Kamla House. The house, named after its last known inhabitant Kamla Devi, was said to be cursed after she mysteriously vanished over 50 years ago. Equipped with flashlights and a crude homemade map, Juttin and Suman set out for the old mansion one stormy night. The storm's fury seemed to mirror their own excitement as rain pummeled the windows and lightning lit up the sky. The heavy, iron gate creaked horribly as they forced it open. The first thing that hit them was the smell, a pungent mix of mildew and decay that made their stomachs churn. Once inside, the oppressive hush was broken only by the damp echoes of their footsteps. Their thin beams of light flickered over cobwebs and furniture draped in dust-stained sheets. This place gives me the creeps, Suman muttered, though he tried to keep his voice steady. Juddin smirked, but his own hands were trembling. The journey through the ground floor yielded nothing but shadows and silence. At the top of the grand staircase, they found a room with a solitary chair facing the window, where legend had it Kamla saw her last sunrise. They moved deeper into the heart of the house, the basement. The air grew colder and heavier as they descended, each step resonating with their dread. A sudden draft blew out their flashlight, and the room plunged into darkness. Panic set in, and their breaths grew ragged as they fumbled to relight the torch. When light finally flooded the room again, they realized they were not alone. A figure stood at the foot of the stairs, dressed in an old white sari, eyes hollow yet piercing. It was Kamla or what was left of her. Get out, she hissed, voice a chilling whisper that echoed in the basement walls. Juddin and Suman bolted, scrambling up the stairs with a speed they never knew they possessed. As they reached the top, a sense of relief washed over them, thinking they had escaped. But the iron gate was closed, held shut by an unseen force. Behind them, Kamla stood, as inexorable as time itself, slowly moving toward them. Desperation hit, and they pushed and pulled at the gate, but it wouldn't budge. At the last moment, just before Kamla reached them, lightning struck the gate and it swung open. They dashed out, never once looking back, drenched and terrified, but alive. From that night on, Juttin and Suman were never the same, haunted by the experience. No one ever dared to enter Kamla House again, and the mansion continues to stand, a silent guardian of its own secrets and horrors.